on top of that, he also got a cold. So whereas we'd have been back a little earlier, he got the cold and it put him out again, you know. It doesn't but, at all. Cliff Richards got the same problem. Cliff's That's right. Trouble. trouble at this moment. Mm -hmm. In back of us, we've got the Holidays single. That's right. What it's called here. Well, Tell yeah. Us how well it went in England. It went very well. I, I, I didn't realise until yesterday that it's only just been released here because I've been doing quite a lot of radio interviews and I've been saying, and of course, you know, how big Australian his holidays. And you're going, <laughs> yeah, that's a biggie. I must have missed out on that one. But, uh, well, we live in hope. But it's, it's a compilation. It's a compilation. Or a medley of all your hits. Isn't yeah, it? the stars on 45 style type of thing. But the, the interesting thing about this one is it hasn't been I mean, in any uh, re recorded. These are literally the old records snipped together and put yeah. in there with warts and all and uh, hiss and whatever. We'll let it run in back of us. Bobby, do the Hollies ever take like a full year or a year and a half off? I know you work X amount of months at Pooh. Have you ever had a major break? since you first came together? Uh, not really. I think this last year, 82, we, we blocked off to do the album with Graham Nash. Is England the biggest country number one record-wise for you, or was America strong, or was Australia slightly larger, or what, which country? Um, well, I suppose England has more than anywhere else, but uh, um, England, yeah, but uh, America was strong. They had the majority of the, you know, the things like the bus stops and carry on yeah. and on a carousels in the early days, and of course, uh, the air that I breathe and the ain't heavy, they're all hits yeah. in America. Also, in fact, Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress, which was a hit pretty much everywhere in the world, except for England. Uh, there is a re it, well, there is a reason for that. It was at the period where Alan Clark left the band yeah. and we were in this situation where we brought in this Swedish fellow, a fellow called Michael Rickfuss, right. and we had a record out with him called The Baby, and we, you know, I mean, we, we killed Long Cool Woman in England purposely. We wouldn't promote it or anything, uh -huh. which... Uh, on looking back, it was a stupid thing to do, mm. really. I mean, they all know it's our song, and I, yeah. I suppose, uh, whereas, uh, I mean, it probably sold as many as it would have done as a hit record, except it, it happened over a longer period of time, it you know. chart for you. Yeah. It must be a really fantastic thing to look back and say, well, there, he ain't heavy. Oh, I remember we were in Canada at the time, which people at home would no doubt do when they hear those records being played again on radio. Do you have any one... A visual thing in the brain that comes back off one song? Well, you mentioned he ain't heavy. I mean, I, I don't know if this is what you're meaning. The, the, the funny part of that song is it's, it's an accident that we ever recorded it. The reason being, uh, I well, I still do go around publishing houses if we need songs, looking around for songs and things. Yeah. And I went to this publishing house in London, a fellow called Cyril Shane, bless his heart, and, and he was a fellow who used to go off to Italy and various places and come back with all these typical songs which mm. were from uh, song festival type songs. Right. So he'd, he'd play you these songs which were really corny, sort of typical, got to get it over in one play songs, and he'd stand behind you with his arm around you virtually, and he'd be singing the English lyric in your ears, you'd uh -huh. hearing those songs, and they were terrible. <laughs> so I, I'd say, right, okay Cyril, I'll, uh, I'll, you know, I'm just going out the door, he says, all right, he says, desperation move, he says, I've got one song here, for the, you know, which, have a listen to it, he says, it's probably not for you, and he played He Ain't Heavy's My Brother, and, uh, it, well, it probably just stood out so much, because at least it was a song, it was if he played song, it amongst right, yeah. a load of others, he would probably have, well, no, I think I probably would have spotted it, but, <laughs> it's, you know, so the point being, occasionally I'd go in to see him again, and he'd play all this rubbish and things, mm. but sure enough, every time I went out the door, he'd say, I've got one, one more, more for you, but they were always rubbish from then on. Uh-huh, so there was no more he ain't heavy, <laughs> No, wouldn't it have been nice if there was, you could just go in, listen to the crap, and then go to the door, and now you're going to get a hit.